This piece is about a woman that has breast cancer. I just felt compelled to talk about breast cancer and a friend that is uh, faced with it. And I'm there for her to lean on and turn to. It's very strong, very powerful. This dance is going to be hard because it's not about our steps and how we're dancing. The, the hardest part is portraying that message. As long as we really get into the character and really commit to the movement and everything, I think we're going to do well. It's going to be a powerful piece that some people can relate to. Mm. Well done, guys. You love together. Nigel? I think that has just shown me why I love dance so much. And that is because it can express... ...so many emotions without the use of words. I don't know, as a choreographer, where you get the strength from to do a piece like this. Um, but Ty Diorio is already nominated for an Emmy this year with his Adam and Eve piece from last year. If this isn't a nomination next year, I'll be hugely surprised. Um, I... I think I have... For me, just witnessed one of the most memorable routines on this show. Um, I found it extremely touching. Uh, you said, Melissa, at the beginning, you can't be judged on your dance or your steps in this routine. You're absolutely right. The only thing that I can say is I can't think of a better couple to have danced it than you two. I think a day. Your strength is absolutely incredible. It was your strength that gave Melissa the courage to do a lot of the jumps that she did into your arms. Um, Melissa, your maturity gave you the responsibility to carry this routine off, which I thought together you were absolutely sensational. And I am so grateful for the opportunity of shining a light on this situation and being able to do it on this program. Absolutely incredible. Absolutely. Well done, guys. Ellen? I've been wanting to come see an, uh, a taping uh, live for a long, long time. The fact that I happen to be here on this day, I feel so privileged that I got to witness that, and I'll always, always remember it. It was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Mary? 
You know, this is taking myself back to a scary place. And I think one reason why I was touched so deeply is the fact that you guys danced it so beautifully. It really was well done. And I don't think I'll ever forget it. And I have to thank Tice for shedding light on the subject day number one and also being able to affect millions of people with the gift of love, compassion, and hope. And uh, I thank the two of you, certainly, for how well you danced that. I mean, that vertical lift a day, once again, like the gentle giant, it, you made that seem effortless. You picked her up with just her wrist, and she just soared across that stage. And Melissa, too, in trusting a day, you just flew into his arms with no care about your body, your legs or those knees, in case he would just even slip. You had full trust in this partnership, and it was such a joy to see tonight. Thank you very much, and I thank Ty. Mia? Oi, okay. Um, what an important piece of work. Um, is it Um, how many millions and millions and millions of women, people, have, if they have not experienced cancer firsthand, have known someone to either fight it or not fight it. And the journey that you go on with them, because every day they want to believe that they're going to beat it. And that's the hardest thing, and they always want you to be okay. It's always about you being okay as they try to keep that focus is, I'm going to beat this, I'm going to beat this. And I wish that I had the strength that you had in this piece for my daddy. Because you were so amazingly strong, and you were there at every moment. And Melissa, you're an angel. You're already there. You're already there in this world. You're already there. So, um... There's not much more I can say because it was really not about the dancing, though it was a perfect portrait of what was being said. And um, thank you so much, Tice. Thank you so much, Ade and Melissa. Thank you. Thank you. Perfection. Melissa and Ade, and of course, Tice, thank you. Only two more performances to go before the phone lines open and you make some very tough choices. After the break, Brandon takes the stage with his solo, plus Kayla and Jason close the show with Shane Sparks' hip-hop number. We'll see you on the other side.